1960, John F. Kennedy declared his candidacy for President of the United States. Muhammad Ali, then Cassius Clay, won his first professional boxing match. Author Harper Lee published her first and to date only novel, the Pulitzer Prize winning To Kill a Mockingbird. In the world of music, the Beatles were formed, and Elvis Presley returned to the United States after serving the Army in Germany, where he was stationed in the same barracks as a young man from Riverhead, who also returned home in 1960, Carl James. When he arrived back in Riverhead, Mr. James visited his former school to see about a job. Uh, one of my buddies, uh, George Harris, was working here, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, why don't you come on up to the school? Maybe you could get a job up there. And the very day I came up here, I was hired. On February 22, 1960, Carl James began a job he would continue day in and day out for the next 54 years. For many of those years, he also drove his own garbage route during his lunch hour. He'd then empty his truck after work before heading to his night job cleaning several offices downtown. By the early 1970s, Mr. James was promoted to head custodian at the school, and he labored over the building for four more decades before retiring at age 79. He... he filled in the gaps right to the last day. You know, you clean a section, take the garbage out, get up on the ladder, uh, you know, unload the truck, whatever, whatever it took. For Mr. James, the hard work was always about giving back to his family and his community. I have a man of determination, someone that's focused on one thing, providing, working, and giving so much to others and not worrying about whether anything came back to him. Uh, one, one family in particular, I remember every Christmas, they never had nothing to eat. And uh, I used to have a garbage route on the side, beside this too. And uh, people would give me food, uh, people actually handed me turkeys to take home and stuff like that, which we didn't really need, so I would give it to them Mr. James says the work grind never got to him. He even misses it. His wife said he had a very difficult time adjusting to a life with no place to go in the morning. Mr. James says that if an offer came along that really appealed to him today, he'd be back at work tomorrow. But what is it that he misses so much? Um, I'd say really doing a job, you know. Like a lot of the kids, you know, I see them in a store, and they'll come up to me and say, Mr. James, we miss you, you know, sort of bring down a couple of tears, but six months after his retirement and 55 years to the week of his very first day on the job, we toured the building with Mr. James. It's not just the kids who miss him. His fellow custodians smiled at the very mention of his name. He shared warm embraces with the faculty and the building principal. Well, he misses him as much as anyone. When I think about Carl James came to work the year before I was born, and now I'm 54 years old and a principal here and starting to contemplate my own retirement. You know, it's just amazing to me uh, that he just, he worked two lifetimes. I mean, he gave two careers or two lifetimes to the service of this town and this district. And, I, I, you know, who does that? Uh, it's just phenomenal. So I just think he's a phenomenal person. He's like my idol. <laughs>